Hey, hello everyone. My name is Ravindra, and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are seeing how to find the version number in the Power Apps. Okay, like this is seventy-eight is a published version. Okay, and we are use their Power Apps Maker connection to find out the version number. Okay, published as well as non-published as well. Okay, so let's I go to the Make dot Power Apps. Okay, so here you can be see. Um, This is my seventy-eight is a published version and eighty-two is the current. Okay, so in my app, I showcasing the least published version and the version. Okay, all versions is eighty-two. So let's do tutorial. Okay, so how to get this version number in the Power Apps? Okay, so let's I go and add and one button first. Okay, okay. So it is adding here. So let's I move for this. So friends, you can be see I just rearrange this. Okay, I use Uh, parent dot width minus self dot width property to fix it at the right hand side. Okay, so let's change the name. Okay, for this button, let's give app ID here. Okay, and we will get the app ID. Okay, so you have to go to your apps. Okay, so let's I showcase you how you will get this. So this is my app. Okay, so I need to click on these three dots. So in the details section, we have this app ID. So let's I copy this, and simply I will paste this into a variable. Okay, you can directly use as well, but it is preferable to use in the variable. Okay, GBL where GBL app ID. Let's give comma. Provide the string format. Let's use Windows Control V, and that's it. Okay, so now we have the app ID. so we need a app version okay so let's i add one more button let's rename this button okay let's give the name to this button app version okay so we are by using this button we are fetching the all the versions that is present okay so let's i showcase you this all the versions list okay we are fetching to fetch this all the versions list we need to add and one connection so simply just click on this data option click on the add and here search for the maker okay so after that you will get this power as maker connection this is non premium connection okay do not need any additional license okay and any maker can use do not need any <coughs> system administrator or the customizer role okay for this so let's i here added simply so let's use this set gbl app versions let's provide the name okay power apps for maker this name we are given here okay let's provide the dot information we will get here so we will use their app version let's press alt button and click on the enter one more time now you can be see we have one value and one is table okay so here if you see we have value in the small letter okay let's i zoom in so we need this value okay so this table so we will do here dot value v in small okay and let's press one more time app version okay and let's see what value we are getting so here you can be see we are getting all the versions here okay so let's i use one gallery click on insert button and let's simply use vertical gallery <coughs> so we have this vertical gallery so let's i arrange this at the bottom let's make it little bit small let's change the layout So the title is sufficient for us. Okay, we just need to showcase this, and let's we change this to the GBL app versions. Okay, so you can be see now we have all the versions. Okay, and to see the count, okay, of the, our all the version, we will use label. Okay, so in the label, let's we increase the width of this label. Good. let's use here all app version count okay 
we will use here ampersand okay ampersand is used to concatenate the strings okay and now we'll use here count function to count the rows in our collection okay let's use here app gbl app versions okay gbl app version let's close this so you can be see our app version count is 82 okay so let's we we <coughs> so if you see we get our all version count now we need to find out the least published one okay so to find out the least published one let's we add one more button okay you can do this all the actions in the one step as well okay for the learning purpose just i showcasing you in the stepwise man so you can learn all the things okay so let's i use here one more time set okay let's give rename the this one okay published version okay let's make it little bigger okay so for this tutorial okay if you want the blog okay so i also created written on blog okay version number in the power apps you can go okay in the description from there you can get this blog link okay so from there you can read and follow the all the instruction okay and don't follow to uh, subscribe to this channel okay uh, for the creation of this required lots of efforts and hard work okay each video so please make sure to subscribe yeah let's i provide the name gbl published version okay let's provide the comma now if you see we have this app version okay so we will use this one in this uh, we need lookup function okay so let's we use lookup let's use the data source name okay it is gbl var1 okay properties dot life cycle id means it is gives is published or not okay life cycle id means so we will type here published let's close this okay let's use here properties dot app version let's simply close the set function okay and let's use alt button and check what value we are getting so in the gbl published version we are getting the date okay so but we need the number okay so for that purpose we will use one more variable okay set published version number okay so we will use this variable let's i give the name to this variable gbr let's provide the comma we use count rows okay let's use open and close bracket and place the enter here okay, let's i zoom it formula bar so you all can see that okay. and let's close the set as well okay so we need to filter the rows okay so let's i use filter let's provide the data source name data source is gbl app version okay in that we will go properties dot app version okay it should be less than or equal to okay let's i cross verify correct less than or equal to publish version number okay gbl publish version number and let's we close the filter function here okay and simply just press the alt and this one okay so now you can be see okay so we are uh, we done here mistake okay we need to use this variable name okay we use the same name that's why it is give error let's i use and check what value we are getting okay so it is 78 okay so we will use just simply copy and do control v so we will get this so simply we will change it here 
द वेरेबल नेम ओके सो और वेरेबल नेम इज जी बी एल पब्लिश वर्जन नंबर दैट्स इट ओके सो वी गेट टोटल एटी टू एंड द वर्जन नंबर इज सेवेंटी एट सो लेट्स आई सेव माई पावर एप्स ओके फ्रेंड्स इफ यू एनी क्वेश्चन एनी डाउट यू कैन बी आस्क मी टू कमेंट वर्क थैंक यू फ्रेंड्स हैव अ ग्रेट डे कीप लर्निंग कीप ग्रोइंग